All right, everybody, thanks for coming. We might have a few stragglers yet, um, but thank you for coming today, and I will, with the sending snow, make sure we keep us short, but um, I want to answer all your questions. That's most important. Um, so, uh, where should we start? You all got your little packet, and if we kind of dive into that first, um, you're going to find... I guess in order, everybody that has Travel Guard insurance, I've got two copies for you um, of just the one page sheet. And there's some little bitty things on the back side of it that you can cut out and either take in your bag or have it on a luggage tank on the outside of your bag so that if perchance you were to lose your bag, <laughs> that there's a tracking mechanism through Travel Guard to help them find it. So that's why I printed a couple copies for you guys. Um, and as far as the yeah. sheet, do we just need to take the cover? We don't need to take the entire packet of right. policy. Right. Okay. In fact, there's some other little larger ones that if you cut those out and put stick that in your purse or wallet so you have it with you at all times, um, it's got the phone number, the policy number, and all that good stuff. So that's really the most important stuff. So. Does anybody have questions on insurance, specifically on insurance at all? Not really? Okay, so at least we got that covered. Um, then, for those of you that are taking the bus from here to Chicago, you should have a bus schedule. Now the time is a little different than what was on your actual uh, invoice itinerary, so we're going to pick up at 9.30 or depart at 9.30 from uh, the park and ride in Appleton and then get down to Fond du Lac, do the pickup in Fond du Lac and uh, continue on to O'Hare. So we'll just have that one, one stop. Um, sometimes I'm not sure when I schedule it, like if I'm going to have more than one stop. <laughs> so this worked out well. Um, so we should be there in plenty of time uh, to get checked in. The Lufthansa check-in area at O'Hare is it's, um, off to the corner and it's a small, a little congested, so we'll just line up and <laughs> go through the process. But um, they, were, they were very good when I, when I traveled with them, and I don't think they were went to Germany. Yeah, they're they were really nice. So um, then you will have your. Um, with your flight details. Because we're traveling as a group, and it's a group reservation, we cannot pull uh, the actual existing reservation up on the app yet. So don't be alarmed if you go to try to enter the confirmation, it's not going to work because we're a group. But everybody has, if you look at your sheet, um, the flight information obviously just reads across, um, but on the back side is where you're going to find that booking, that confirmation number, the Lufthansa confirmation number, as well as you will find, and this one's on the front side, so I don't know if it's on the back or front of your paper, but your e-ticket number. So then you have your ticket number to reference as well. So anybody that didn't book or like I booked something else and I'm, I'm going to look at Kenna Paula. You can actually pull up your reservation in the Lufthansa app because we booked it outside of this group oh. reservation. So just so you have a heads up, you can actually look at yours. So, okay. But yeah, so flight information's here. Um, I don't know, pretty straightforward. <laughs> if you've got questions I don't know, regarding the flights at all, I don't know if anybody does, but Okay, as you have to, um, we've got these cool little adventures. Oh, hi, I started playing, but I'm videoing it, so come on in. We'll go in the back like church. Okay. <laughs> you early. People should have come late. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we should have come late. 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 Yeah, we should have come late
Place nearby that you the can hotel, go. Typically, the hotel, typically, yep, exactly. Okay. So if for some reason we would need to, or our guide will help us in navigating an ATM or, or a bank. So. Um, that would be my tip. About tipping. 
<laughs> the only thing is, if you have any euros left, you can't yeah. turn back in. Yeah. That's a really good, yeah. Did everybody hear that? If, it, if you're like to the end of your euros and you just want to get rid of them, that's a great idea. Oh. Get rid of them. That sounds terrible. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be generous. By the way, do they convert back to your real estate? You can convert, but then again, you're losing a little bit because there's a fee. Right. Yeah. But you definitely can. Are we going to be doing anything in Budapest that's going to require tipping? And that's the different money there, right? Right. That's the price. And no, really? I mean, other than. <laughs> You really you don't know, have any extra touring. If you felt like you wanted to give, but then you have to have that other currency. For the, the Hungarian, right, exactly, the foreign. What about restaurants? Pardon me? What about restaurants? Yep, and that actually is in the little book. So, um, and that's throughout Europe. So throughout Europe, oftentimes the bathrooms, you have to give them some change to use it. So unless there is times when you're eating at restaurants or if you have something at a coffee shop that then you can go in and use the restroom. But to be aware that you might have to obtain some change or again, some smaller bills to use for the bathroom. No, just when we're out and about. So in Budapest, just take that to the sky, they're referred to do that. For the bathrooms. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, they do do. They do have um, some of the, uh, to be able to charge our phones and things in the room, but um, if you have anything that you need to plug, you will need a converter to be able to do that. So, so they are, they don't have a universal type of outlet like, like we had with the last thing about that. Right, it's, they don't. It's European, yeah. So, yeah.
do a lot of people in this country speak English, or do we need to use the guide for an interpreter? Well, I, on my last newsletter, I put the little Google Translate on there, and I would, I would I mean, at least if you are okay with having that app on your phone, at least you have it. You need that service to use that app? You do. So, yeah, that's, that's another good question about your phone, to talk about phone usage. Um, you can download it so that it's downloaded without service as well. I didn't try that, but I believe there's an option where it can take the different languages and then download those different ones that you'll be able to use it without service as well. Because then it's just the, the microphones that you're using. So, right. With phone use over there, um, we can use it through the, the both Wi-Fi, yes. but when we're out and about, then we're pretty much on your own. On your own. Right. Yeah. So make sure you check with your phone provider if you want to do the international uh, any sort of international calling plan. Um, you know, feel free. I will share my cell phone number with everybody with the final documents for the cruise. So you'll have my cell if for some reason we you need to get a hold of me if you can, uh, or need to have a local person call me. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, definitely. I will have service the whole while. So. But yeah, double check with your phone provider. Sometimes it's not too much to have the international plan, and it's nice to have. Okay. I can't look. Yeah, you can talk to When we're done with the cruise, then we're going to be disembarking, and you will be getting in your room. And when you get papers in your room, if you get some questions, just come. I'll be around so you can find me. But they're going to ask you how you're disembarking the ship. So just so you have a heads up, we are going to have a. Uh, and actually, I'll be talking with the cruise manager about this. So you may not get this paper because I might take care of it on the back side. But if you get the paper, um, there is a, a notation on here that says that you could, you're taking private transportation. And that's what we're doing. Okay. So, okay. Um, so just so you know, they're going to ask. And then they'll have us disembark. They do it by colors. So it's all done kind of a color coded and do it in small groups. And so our group will. All together, but you'll have time for breakfast in the morning, so no worries there. Um, so the rivers are can be sometimes they're high and sometimes they're low. <laughs> so this can happen, and it did happen on my trip. And so um, we ended up disembarking at a whole different spot. So don't worry, our people know, <laughs> and we'll know where we are. Um, but it did cause for some of, like, for instance, the local entertainment that we would have gotten off and seen, they had to come on to see us. Oh. So they really make it work. Um, but just so you, no worries, we will have it all under control <laughs> as to where we will get picked up if that should happen. Um, and, uh, yeah, timing and all that will be all taken care of. So, but it can happen. Those rivers. Is there any occasion where we need to dress more formal? You know, I had said in my video, I thought, we're going to have a chef's table. We have to split the groups. So we have two different dining time evenings. You know, maybe that night you want to dress up a little more. But really, it's very casual. So you really don't. You know, you can really, what you wear in the day, you could technically wear at night if you wanted. So, or I, I was reading the other day too, somebody said, oh, I just switch out my shoes at night. Or <laughs> 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 my sneakers at night. I'm going to No, no kidding. But it's no. very casual, oh, no. which is nice. And from the temperature. <laughs> well, watch the app. <laughs> or watch your weather app. <laughs> uh, to, to, yeah. It was like 50 degrees down to 39. And <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. That's it's so yeah, it's like we always have to wait a little bit, but it's good. I just recommend layers. Layers for everything. Make sure you bring a raincoat, because I did use my raincoat. Not that it rained like hard or anything, but it was nice to have um, a raincoat. Yeah. Is it a lot of cobblestone or anything? The walking? There is one little where the wine, there's a wine tasting area that that little village was. There was some cobblestones, but not for where we had to walk into the town. It was all normal pavement. 
Um, but yeah, there was a little bit there. Other than that, everything else was normal streets. You might find, like in Passau, there was normal streets, but then the side streets were cobblestone. So, okay. You might have a mix. Right, comfortable shoes, sneakers, I mean, just good walking shoes. Yeah. Uh, all I can see is Stephen Aller and Zalantaneo um, just got a little, you know, too much fun like the rest of us. We're like, here, we'll just put you in this wheelchair on this <laughs> cobblestone streets up to the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd rather be dragged. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Oh, my God. That poor guy. How do you feel? <laughs> yeah, so then no. after the first portion, we will be transferred into Munich where we will end our trip with some fun. So I'll well, talk more about that. So. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'll talk more about that in the little videos as we get closer. But I don't know if you have any questions on that, let me know. But um, the company that's taking care of us on the land portion is also the one that will they'll bring us to the airport to leave uh, out of Munich. And then we're on a non-stop flight, which is kind of nice. So, and then when we arrive back into O'Hare, Lambert's bus line will be there to pick us up. So I will you know, have that all. It will all be pre-ranged and ready to roll. Are they going to want us to use maps? No. Actually, there was no maps even when I was here. Oh, oh so. okay. You will see people with maps, just like right, right now. You'll see people, so but it's not required. So, yeah. Since COVID is over with, done, right? Should we still bring our proof of COVID shots? You know what I do? Like I feel like it was a, a, a point in our lives that I, it's still there, and right. so like to have the little or even your vaccination list to have it along is right. A smart idea. I, I, I got it on my phone also. Yeah, yeah, that's even a good idea, Claudia. Yeah. Can you take a minute? So one of the excursions was Mozart's concert. Oh, yeah, the concert. Yeah. Any idea about how much it runs? Okay, just so we can set aside. Yeah, I will double check. I did email them to confirm it because I couldn't remember if it was 99 or 69. <laughs> But I'm gonna, con I will, and I'll follow up in an email on that. Cool. So she, she was just asking about how much the Mozart co the concert was in Vienna. So I'll confirm the cost before we depart, so you guys have a heads up. And they can put it right on your room. So okay. no, um, as far as the payment on it, is, you can just use your card to. The other thing is drinks are included, you guys, so you don't have to worry about the cocktails. They're all taken care of. Um, so your tips, your cocktails, yeah. Somebody told me about those riverboat cruises that they limit you to two drinks a day. I have more than two. That would be bad. That would be great for me. Uh, I think some of them have with dinner, like if you were putting this unique group, if you had dinner, they'll sometimes just only opt, you only get two glasses of wine or something. Just so you know, you don't need any visas or anything, just your valid passport is all you'll need. So. Did you warn us both these are Wisconsin people? <laughs> I will make sure I do that. <laughs> you best do that. <laughs> you might not drink as much as you used to. Maybe you should get our preferences so they know what to <laughs> so excursions, um, yeah. we have the app, we yeah. yeah. look at it, yeah. uh, what, is, what is the late touring plan? You know, Mr. Morning here. I know. <laughs> like the normal, like, okay, let me just try this. Um, this particular was the past.
last hour tour. So this one, they start the morning tours, start be about 8.15. Um, so a late tour might start actually 9.30, 10, something like that. Yeah, once. And I, and I know I keep saying it, but like you can sign up for the tours, but then you can change your mind. Like I just want to make sure everybody yeah. feels comfortable going as you get visiting with people. Oh, you're going to do that one? I want to do that one. <laughs> well, if you're doing the, so um, in other ones, we signed up for excursions, but we were on that. We paid for it and everything. Right, this exactly. This is different. It's different. Yeah, oh, okay. exactly. The only thing that you might run into a hiccup is if you change at the last minute on like the biking, because they only have so many bikes. So. That would be the only one if you're if you're interested in doing any bike one. Um, if you change your mind and want to do it or something, it might be. But that would be. <laughs> 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 Well, we get yeah, well, we oh. go on the boat. Yeah, so, so, they, yeah, they so it has our, our room number, cabin number. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yep. And they'll, they'll give us the color code at that time yeah. to, to go along with you. Right, right. right. Oh. But yeah, so then it's, um, the company that's taking us over to the boat, when they are taking all the bags off, then they can, yeah, it's all taken care of. Stay with they'll us till we, we get there. Till we get, to the we get there. Yep, okay. yep, they'll be with us. Um, the carry on, just so you guys know, because we do have some, you know, elements of we're on this motor coach, they typically do not like to have rolly bags like for carry on. So if you can do a backpack or a pushy bump duffel bag of some sort, uh, so just do your one check bag and then a smaller uh, carry on. That's what. 
this recommend it. Just because it's a space. Your carry-on has to come with you in, in the, where we're sitting. So. When we have our coach taking us down there, yeah. here, I, is the tip included for the driver? Yes, it is. Yes. Thank you for asking that. Okay. Yeah. I tried to give them a couple bucks for taking oh, yeah. that. If you guys, anytime you feel like you want to, something you can yeah. I just kind of did the standard tipping and I included it for everything, trying to make it all as much taken care of as possible. <laughs> what is the Christine had a great question. She was asking about tipping if you do go into a restaurant or something when you're there. Tipping isn't as much of a big deal in Europe as it is here. So they recommend just rounding up. That's what they recommend. So, yeah. So just round up and that would be your tip. Yeah. It's almost it's almost rude to over Right. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my. What time is it? Three thirty. Yeah. So I think when we were in last uh, last fall in Germany, yeah. if you did a sit down restaurant, it was okay to tip. But if you went into some place like a deli where they just handed it to you, then you did an and that's kind of what we were told. Yeah, that's pretty, yeah, yeah. typical, yeah. yeah. Do you think of anything else? Um, the Gagases just were in Germany last fall, so they're uh, <laughs> world travelers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just, I, I had never been there before, and I just remember the bathroom. Make sure you the bathrooms with the change. Points for the bathrooms. Yeah. So, so I will make an effort to get changed, but I might not be with you. And I have to do the game of the coin and then brought it or back or something, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we're at the point. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they even gave us a coin and we used it to give it back to them.